All right. I gotta tell you, the phone number is 831-6175. And hey, that's my microphone too. So go ahead and give us a call here on our summer fun episode. Very excited, and uh, good job too by the Carolina Bombshells. Uh, they went out to a wrestling show this past Friday that I was a part of for, uh, called House of Pain Wrestling. So they were very, very good. However though, I do have to say that um, before we went on the air, someone told me that there was a note left out here for me. And uh, so I wanted to, to check that out. And it said, uh, it says, I want to talk with you. Let's see what electricity can spark together. Signed, CB. So I have to assume that it's probably the Carolina bombshells because after all, CB. Well, wow, I can't wait. I don't know uh, who it is, which bombshell member. I don't know when they're going to come out and tell me, but uh, I'm very excited. So hopefully... I'll be able to find out sometime before we go off the air. I wanted to mention this too. I have this that I got from a, a girl that I was seeing. And I don't know quite the overtone that I'm supposed to take from that. But for some reason, I have invested in a lot of salt and pepper. I think that's the most important thing. I think she talks too, although I was covering up her nose, so now she's not going to be able to breathe. Hello, hi, how are you? I'm doing fine. I feel like I'm doing a Mrs. Butterworth impression for some reason. Well, like I said, it is our summer fun competition and uh, with modeling and summer fun episode, and that's what we do have. We have a modeling uh, competition, and I would tell you a little bit about what happened. Before I came on the air, I was told that there was going to be a modeling competition. The thing I don't get is, I guess, the channel's trying to spice up ratings a little bit. They want uh, things to be uh, more dramatic and, and people watching, so they told me that now I'm going to have to do a modeling competition, and the winner of the modeling competition actually gets to host an episode. Unfortunately, it's going to be during my time slot, so I'm not exactly thrilled by that. But, you know, I'm trying to be a team player, so I'll go along with it, I guess, since I have no other choice. The good news is, and sort of bad news, some of you may remember on some of the past couple episodes, we had Jackie. We haven't seen Jackie in a while because she had slipped on a banana peel and she sprained her ego. And the weird thing is that the banana peel was thrown by a one bob who has been kind of hit or miss with the show, and this is all stems back from the wrestling show that we had in Nightdale, where Bob turned on me, he's been trying to apologize, he's been trying to, you know, make amends, and the interesting thing, I guess, about that is that he's been giving me fruit, fruit baskets, and he brought bananas, thus, I don't know if it was intentionally done to throw uh, down and have Jackie slip on it or not, but on the last episode, if you missed it, or if you did see it, and just want reminding, we took a vote to let to see if Bob was going to be able to stay, and if we had enough of the audience members vote in and say that he could stay, then he could stay. The problem is it came down to one person, and that person's name was Woody. And some of you may remember Woody uh, has been in the hospital, or this is what we found out afterwards, because he was having uh, ear plants, uh, transplant surgery, where they're going in and fixing his holes where his ears should be with corn on the cob holders. The problem is, is that a cockroach had climbed inside the hole, thus causing him to go into a coma. Well, we went off the air on the last episode where we didn't know exactly what was going to be happening. Um, it just, I don't know, it was a very scary time. There, I was beeps. We were actually called in live to the hospital. It turns out that he has lived. At least right now, he is in a coma still. He didn't die. They were able to make it in in time to rescue him. And uh, also, too, it was through the phone company that we heard some of the beeps. So everything's worked out okay so far. We're going to try and get another update on Woody's condition. Because basically, if Woody dies, Bob is now going to be off the show. But if Woody lives, then Bob is able to remain on the show. So hopefully you got that all straight. But, uh, too, before I forget, I would like to hear from certain parts of Raleigh today. So if you are off on St. Mary Street, give us a call at 831 6175 you're probably out hanging out at a restaurant or club. I know there's music going on, you know, around town, but 
Give us a call too. Maybe tell us what your summer fun plans are for the year. Because I'm hoping, I'm bound to determine to make this a really good summer this year, but I don't know. Some things, I don't know if they're starting off quite that way. But it, back to the modeling competition. So the deal is I'm now representing Jackie because she has injured her ankle, but I'm also representing myself too. So I've got two opportunities to win the competition and then continue on and get my own show back for the next episode. However, we have one more person that the station has asked for us to bring back, and her name is Melinda, and we're gonna go ahead and bring her out now. Welcome, 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 woo, Melinda. Hey, it's you, I'll, I'll let you uh, hold on to that for a second. Now, we're really excited to have you come back. You were here on the last episode when we talked to the uh, audience about trying to break into the entertainment industry, and we touched just briefly on it, but tell everybody what agency you're with and how you got started. Um, I'm Melinda Jackson. I'm with Mona Lisa Talent out of Cary, and I just basically got started with them. Um, a friend told me about them. I went in, and they liked me, and so they've been getting me work ever since, and that was in January. Wow, so you, t you found out through a friend. The friend told you, and, and how did the friend find out about him? Um, they were, it's actually someone that is an extra with me. I'm an extra on One Tree Hill, and they're on the show with me, and we were talking, and they just told me that they um, just looked so at some agencies around, and they found Mona Lisa. Now, since I haven't watched the actual episode of One Tree Hill, can you explain to me, is there a tree, and is it on a hill? Um, not really, no, not exactly. Um, it's just called One Tree Hill. The town is called Tree Hill, so. So I could basically name this show Sponge, and there doesn't have to be really any explanation to it. Just the fact that it's called Sponge, people are gonna watch. I, I guess. Well, great, well that certainly helps soak up some of that information for me, so I appreciate it. And what are some of the other projects that you've done besides One Tree Hill? Um, I've done a commercial for Carowinds, and a couple of weekends ago I did some promotional work. Um, at SAS Soccer Complex for Discovery Channel. They had an event out there and I worked at that. Nice, and did you get to ride the, the Vortex out at Carowinds? Um, do they still have the Vortex? Maybe they, they do still have it, I'm trying to remember. I know I rode, we, I rode so many, I'm not sure, but it, it was not a hard day at all. If, riding each roller coaster about 15 times, it was pretty well, fun. Great, now how is it to work with an agency? Tell some of the people at home that are actually trying to get started in modeling or acting competition, uh, or just as a career, part-time, what have you. Tell them what it's like and what the process is of going through an agency. You know, uh, do you have to make phone calls? They call you, what's the percentage kind of thing? Um, it can it can go either way. Um, for well, me- We had a crew member one time actually that could go either way, but his name was Valentus, but he's not here anymore, so that's okay. I'm sorry about that. But, well, um, I was too, that's why he's not here anymore. Yeah. No, we, we were an equal opportunity offender. Offender. No, we try. I understand completely. Um, it's it, a G felony. Yeah, I'm yeah, done. most F. Um, anyway, it can go either way. Um, you can go to an agency. Um, a lot of them have open casting calls. Sometimes they'll contact you if they see you. I have some friends that have been seen on the show, and um, agencies contact them, but everyone else pretty much went to open casting calls. Nice. Well, we want to put the phone number up again on the screen. If you'd like to give uh, Melinda a call, you can, 831 175 can't guarantee you what kind of calls they might be. It's but okay. Do you know anyone that lives in Raleigh? I, I have a lot of friends that live in Raleigh, actually. Na name a street that they might live in, or, or just near like a vicinity. I have a lot of friends that are up on Hillsborough Street right yeah, now. Yeah, let's at, give a nice Yeah, Hillsborough Street. Street at the brewery. Ooh, go there yeah. tonight after this, after you finish watching. Um, some of my best friends are playing a show, Yearling. Check them out. There are you go. allowed to have more than one best friend? You can actually. I mean, I know I have like 37, so. 37 best yeah, friends. Yeah, pretty now, much. How do you classify that as in a best friend? Because oh, do you have cat like a subcategory where you're best friend yeah, A and yeah. then best friend B? Yeah, most of them. Like I have best friends that are in bands and then I have best friends that are in cheerleading and I have best friends that, you know, it's all different categories pretty much. And then I have like my top eight on MySpace, but besides oh, that. I see. Well, we have a MySpace too. It's myspace.com slash T-I-M-E-D. It's very nice. Would you like to give yours out? Maybe people can uh, no, check it out. No, that's okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry. Look me up. It's private if you want to be my friend. We'll see what's up. I always enjoy a girl in a privacy or a girl in a private, so that's always good too, but that's that's nice. I'm, I'm happy to know. Have you done any other club work? Have you been out to any clubs? Have um, you, have no. you seen a donkey anytime soon? Donkey? I watched Shrek the other day. Did you? Did yeah. you were you happy with the third one? I haven't watched that one, actually. I've, I just... I watched the other ones. I don't well, know. Well, I can go ahead and tell you that uh, from what I've seen that there's going to be some green monster. Yeah, I, I think that's pretty much the whole oh, deal with episode. it. Oh, I got yeah, you. Yeah, pretty much. Well, I tell you what, they're, be, they're telling me that we're going to have to begin the modeling competition. Okay. So I will go ahead and go first. And I'm not going to walk twice, but it'll be uh, for myself. And it'll also be for Jackie, who is not here. 
Oh, let's let it, may her rest in bed with her spring. Get well ego. soon, Jackie. Or or somewhat get well soon. Maybe half well soon. We're not buying you a balloon, so you can stop that. But should I win, I get my show back the next episode. So I'm very excited. All right. Ooh, hey. How did that happen? And could I take it all off for just a dollar? Bow chicka wow wow. Yeah, I guess so. I tell you, do I have any modeling music to dance to and we'll mock on? There we go. Well, I guess that'll have to do. Okay, I'm ready. That's television. By the way, before I forget, I gotta talk back into this. I do have to say thanks to my crew. They're awesome people. So Dave, Darren, Jim, Bob, uh, Frank, Robert. Are they your best friends? I love it. They're uh, my subcategories, A, B, C, and D. I understand completely. How much do you really understand? I don't know. Just completely. Okay, we'll see what's up. I don't believe this. I'm being told that I didn't win. I'm sorry, maybe next time. What was it that actually won it for you, I wonder? And, and I don't know where they got these judges at, but I'm not exactly too thrilled about it. I tell you, uh, I'm going to have to punish you slash please you. I don't know how that's going to come about, but I'm going to explain in a moment. But first, uh, do we have our, our, our guest ready? Okay, so stay tuned and you'll get to find out how I'll do both at the same time. Hello, you're on the name of the game. Well, he was, sort of. Hello. Oh, not this again. Don't you love RTN equipment, but yet somehow they probably want us to still... Hello? Hello? Just dance. Well, I know it's plugged in because I see it. And not to let, we'll do it during rehearsal and it won't work. Are you there? Hello. Ringer Live is high. Live television, everybody. I, I love this. It says Ringer is high. How did it know that it actually was on drugs? That's great. Know. Hello, you're on the name of the game. Oh, gee whiz. Drugs are bad. Are they? Oh, okay. I agree. Hello. Hello. Does this ever happen to legal eagles? Holy cow. Hang on, let me try this way. Hello? Hello? <laughs> I don't believe this. I don't know what the deal is. It's ringing and uh, the phone works. I just am not getting a connection from the light to there. Hello? All right. I don't know. Do you have any op options or thoughts? Um, you don't know how to use the phone? I'm sorry. Um. Why don't you try to say, I think okay. I've used all my hellos. Hello? Can you hear me now? This didn't work, let's try. Yeah, I tried that too already. I'll just leave it on. Is it on hold? Yeah, it's not Hello? on. Hello? I mean, the light's still flashing, but it's not coming through to the phone somehow. Do you think it's... Oh, man, actually, you know what? You might be really good. Hello? No, that was a good guess, though. I thought that, too. Mm -hmm. 